Hi folks, welcome to another Teven Technik Talk. What's the content of today? We talk about Teven's Dali Gateway P64. How to identify reasonable lights affiliated yet on the Dali Gateway, how to rename and how to do the reasonable grouping. So for that purpose we turn to the ETS window and uh, I will share some, let's say, preconditions with you. Absolutely precondition is finally that you do have these DCA options. If you first use the Dolly gateway in your ETS, so then please be reminded, so you have to go to mykanicstore.com and download the Theban app for the Dali gateway. Install properly in the ETS and then you will have this uh, option here, this menu option here, DCA. This app is preconditioned for the discovery of the reasonable lights and finally to do the reasonable grouping. Okay, I did so in advance. So let's get started. So important is finally, you see here, new installation. Here, this area is currently empty and I'm looking forward to that in a few seconds we will definitely discover some reasonable lights in our system. For that purpose, I turn to this view here. This is our demo case here next to me. And uh, here are the reasonable lights. And I start now the discovery. And the discovery, you see, we do have here this bar which is moving now and try to discover reasonable lights. Okay, I discover here is some movement. So some uh, lights are obviously discovered. And why this process? So each of these lights here, <coughs> which we are using, get a short address automatically from the Dali gateway. In this case, the Dali gateway is the master, the controller, finally. Um, these short addresses, you can imagine it's similar to, let's say, a physical address in KNX system. Okay, so you see the list now fills up with the reasonable detected lights. But now the interesting thing might probably be, so which of these icons here is which light here? For that purpose, we can do the following. So click on here, right hand side mouse and just decide to turn on. And you see here, so these lights are lighting up. Okay, fine. So this is the identification. So you take now this icon here and drop it here in that area. One click, two clicks, and then you can, for instance, <coughs> this is light left. So light I copy for the next uh, for the next discovered light. So then this icon here was tunable white. So you see here this yellow, this white, this light blue, however. So this, I know this icon. So this icon tells you it is a light which you can do tunable white. So you can modify the light temperature. So more cold light or more warm light color. Okay. So in our case, it is tunable white. Fine. So then let's discover or let's do the following. Let's check the other one. So that means which one is this? This is on the left hand side. So we off it here. And I take now this in my area here. Okay. And light. This is in this case left and it's tuned to the white. So this is the parameter or the feature, however. You discover here a similar icon but with different colors. So this gives you probably the idea, so this must be a light which you can modify in the real color, so red, green, blue and whatnot. Okay, this is the one on the left hand side. So I take this one here, I just put it here, drop it and this one is here, color. So for instance, for a meeting room to give a certain effect or so. Okay, this is the left one, so then it's easy. So this one must be the right one on the right hand side. I drop it here. 
and to be strict. So then same name, color. So well, then we have left uh, all in all four other uh, DALI devices. So let's discover who is this one here. This is the one on the left hand side. This icon tells me it is just a light uh, which uh, is able to switch on to be dimmed or so, but no tunable white, no color is possible with this one. So this icon, this feature is automatically given uh, during the detection. So light and this is monochrome and this was left. Okay, then this one discovery on. This one is the one in the middle. So and now I do some, so I take this, I don't switch it off, put it here. This one is monochrome middle, middle side, so mid. So and okay, so and now the light is still on. Okay, so if you click on this icon on, on this, let's say, uh, planning area here, so and click on the right hand side mouse, you see you can off it here as well. So it's not just even not just possible on that side, so you can do it here in the planning area here as well. So then finally, this one is the one light monochrome and this must be the right side yeah i showed it okay so and then i do have here another device and this probably you identified as a relay icon and it is a relay exactly so i drop it here <coughs> in that area and this is for instance ventilation so and to be sure so i click on that and start blinking for instance and in a few seconds you see here this LED here starts flashing gives you the idea okay this is exactly that relay so to identify probably you have two or three of them in your system and uh, for that purpose it is as well important that you get a feedback from this. The relay starts blinking and so it's auditable or probably if uh, still affiliated so uh, visible if the fan uh, probably is running finally. Well, so far so good. So then on the DALI side, on the DALI side, we have here the different groups, you know, DALI, uh, DALI gateway gives you per channel 16 groups. So the group you can name or uh, however, so for that purpose, we off this here, we turn to the parameters. So and for instance, this is group one and this group one is uh, for instance, giving us uh, uh, constant light control, which we do with the monochrome lights also. Yeah, so you can name this group, okay? And you see here, G gets a further, let's say, extension, which is in this case constant light. Yeah, G2, for instance, behavior, and here it's important the color control finally. So, behavior here, this is G2. We do have here general and uh, you can name it, you know how it works. And if you need color control, so here you can do the reasonable selection. So what you intend to do, so if you intend to do the color temperature control, RGB, RGBW, whatever. So here you give the reasonable, let's say, features which you want to have in order to control finally the associated um, lights, okay? So this is what you need to do in advance. You do the reasonable, let's say, group addressing, which is not a part of this uh, short tutorial here. So the group addressing you do like you are used it, used to it in, in uh, KNX. Okay. So back to the DCA. So that means you see here you get as well here the feedback. So this is constant light control. So and now, for instance, I do the following. So this light here, this monochrome light shall finally support me in constant light control. Yes, I want to do. This one here should be as well a part of the constant light control. Yes, and you see immediately, so here the, these lights are added in this group and this one here as well. So you see these lights are associated now with this reasonable group if probably you have mistaken one. So you, you put one of the lights in the wrong group so you can 
market and put it back finally in that area and do, let's say, this uh, configuration uh, new and then right. Then you can do your reasonable, let's say, correction. Yeah, well, we do have here group 2, which is colored. So we do have here exactly the same way uh, of, uh, let's say, the grouping. This is the one in uh, the right one. Well, and you know how it works. It's rather simple, rather easy to do. Tunable white, <coughs> we do here in group 3. And this one here as well. Ah, okay, here, drag and drop here in group 3, well, and then finally, so the ventilation, for instance, here, you know, definitely latest now how finally it works. Important now, so this is just the preparation. Important now, you have to do now the download. This is an internal routine, which has to be started manually from your side, that finally this configuration is finally fixed and filed in the Dali gateway and afterwards you do the reasonable let's say configuration in regards of the KNX configuration if you want to link uh, sensors push buttons or whatever to the reasonable functions that you can do manual override and so on this part is KNX part this is not a part of our short introduction of today hopefully you get some fruitful insights see you next time